We're with the WCC, the Washington Conservation Corps. My name's Delaney. My name's Beatrice. What we have here today is a tree being engulfed by ivy, specifically a maple tree. If we don't intervene soon, this ivy will take over the tree and will eventually, in high winds in the winter, knock it down. So what we're going to do today is cut an ivy ring. So to do that, we cut a complete ring around the tree at chest height. And what that does is it kills all the ivy that's above the ring and severs the connection from the roots in the ground. Then after we have cut the ring around, we pull back all the ivy to about 10 feet away from the tree in a giant ring, giving the tree a lot of room and ensuring that the ivy doesn't grow back up the tree. All right, go. So some of these trees can have really dense networks of um, small ivy veins. So you really need to like get in there and just start snipping, you know, like <laughs> pull it down. It's very gnarly work. And then ideally what you want to do with your scrap is to ball it up and put it on a raft type place where it can dry up and won't sprout into the ground. And we're gonna keep on doing this. And eventually, when you keep doing this, you will see what you wanna see, bare bark. <laughs> Maybe we should have you back up a bit. <laughs> Is this your Hi, uh, here we have an example of ivy life rings around uh -huh. a tree that we did earlier this year. You can see where we cut around the tree, where the ivy was. If you look up, you can see all the now dead ivy. We cut and pulled back all the ivy trunks that we could and made giant rings around it. But like I said before, these things do require some maintenance, and you will see little sprigets coming through sometimes and just have to pull them out. Oh, like these? Yeah. Okay. Or like this one. Uh huh. And that's where site maintenance comes in? Yeah, that is where site maintenance comes in. Okay. And it's really good that we got to this tree. It's starting to have new sprouts come around where the ivy wasn't fearing before, so it's showing that it's trying to come back in its full fervor. But right here we have a uh, ivy tree that fell down because of the weight of the ivy on it. We cleared off all the ivy from these twisted up stems, as it would be, and cut it up. You can see where we did that right here and here. And you can see that this is what was left of the rotting trunk of the tree. So these will last for lo much longer than the actual tree will and create a sort of skeleton of ivy huh. and will just spread to other trees. That's probably how this one came about. Okay, but these ivies right now are dead. Yes. Okay. We killed those. Uh -huh. And this continues all the way down to over there to the top of that tree. But if you see right here, they do try to grow back. Okay, so these are small ivies growing back. Is that, are those also small ivies growing back? No, that would be the beginnings of a big leaf maple. Oh. Yeah. And then this tree that the ivy took over used to be standing next to that tree. Yeah, which we also did life ring. Up. Okay. Yeah, but then this tree fell over after the ivy took over and killed it. Yeah, long before we got here. Uh -huh. But that's what happens to trees when the ivy isn't taken care of. It, they just come down from the sheer weight of it. Uh -huh. And sometimes they come down on people's houses. And that's not great. So you want to take care of an ivy tree as soon as possible if it's on your property. All right. Yeah. All right, go. When pulling the ivy off the tree, be sure to look out for native plants. This is Oregon grape right here. And I'm trying to gently remove the ivy from in between it. That way I do not hurt 
a lovely native plants and oh. just remove that. Okay, so you, so this Oregon grape right now is kind of ivy is going all around it, mm -hmm. but you're not trying to remove the Oregon grape, but just the ivy around it. Yes. Okay. We crave native biodiversity. That's what. That's ideally what we want, so that there's less space for ivy to move in and start wrecking stuff. Yeah, and that's why this Oregon grape is doing a great job, and we want to encourage it and save it from being smothered by the ivy also. Go ahead. Now that we have put a ring around it, we're going to pull it back. And if when you do this, you find more ivy connected lower down, you can cut that away so you can pull it back even further. As you can see here, this tree was already given a life ring once, but it was not done properly, and so the ivy grew back up the tree. Where's the life ring? The life ring, evidence of the life ring being done is this. This is a giant piece of ivy that once went up this tree. There's also cut marks from a handsaw in the side here. Do you want to come look? And there's further ivy down here that was not taken care of properly. And so, that's what happens if you do not do a proper life ring. Better do it right once than have to do it again. <laughs>